everyone, and welcome to today's LRD webinar session. And we're going to be focusing on using sources and citations. I'm Megan Kowalski, the Outreach and Reference Librarian, and I'll be managing this webinar behind the scenes. So if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the chat, and I will save them for the end of the presentation. We will have time for recorded and unrecorded Q&A, and I will also share a link to evaluate the webinar series at the end of the event. Today, our presentation is going to be done by Chris Anglum. He is also a reference librarian, and he is our archivist. So, Chris, take it away. Thank you very much, Megan, and uh, welcome to Library 101 Sources and Citations. I'm Chris Anglum. I'm the reference librarian and archivist, and the overview of our presentation today is that we're looking at both sources and citations. So under sources, we'll be talking about why and how to use sources, integrating and synthesizing sources, for example, quoting and paraphrasing. And under citations, we'll be looking at why you need to cite in some leading formats, namely APA, MLA, and Chicago Manual. And so uh, the uh, reason why you would want to source, uh, why you would want to cite is to uh, uh, to help you develop and support your writing to uh, you would provide you would provide your main ideas purpose and arguments and they are not substitute for your ideas sources are there to strengthen your writing because they help provide background and information and context they explain your important ideas terms and concepts they provide additional support for your arguments and add credibility for your position uh, you need to avoid plagiarism. That's one of the things we can't emphasize enough. So what is plagiarism? Plagiarism is using another person's ideas or uh, words without proper citation. And uh, the uh, plagiarism comes with definite consequences. It could lead to failure in a course, academic suspension, and uh, harm to your reputation. Now, in terms of sources, uh, how you integrate sources, this is how you would combine ideas from outside sources with your own ideas. You would, integrating sources is necessary to discuss and analyze the perspective of others. You integrate sources into a research paper by summarizing, paraphrasing, and quoting, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. Stating sources in your own words indicates that you have a, a genuine understanding of the subject at hand. And restating uh, in your own words, uh, give uh, the full meaning of the phrase or long up passage helps the reader understand difficult, complicated, jargon-filled, or ambiguous phrases. Such phrases, if quoted, may uh, uh, need uh, uh, extensive explanation to be understood. Hmm. And uh, now uh, with direct quotations, direct quota you would use a direct quotation if you uh, find a sentence from the text that uh, concisely states the viewpoint that you want to make, and then you would uh, directly quote from the sentence. Uh, sentence frames or signal phrases for the quotation. Uh, so the, if the, uh, would be an example, these are several examples where the uh, X stands for author. So uh, sentence frame or signal phrase is where the uh, uh, author says, uh, X says, and then uh, you give the quotation according to X, the author uh, in the article says this, or in the X's view, or X is, agrees with another author when she or she writes. So these are several examples of uh, using sentence frames or signal phrases. Uh, and uh, examples yeah. of paraphrasing, uh, you paraphrase when you use the ideas an, an author expresses over a long piece of writing without directly quoting them. Paraphrasing means that you are using the author's content, but you are placing it in your own words, even though uh, you are using, and you must, even though you are, if you are using your own words, you must give the original author credit because uh, you are using their ideas. So even if you're not, again, not using their exact words, you still need to give them credit because you are using their ideas. You paraphrase long quotes and uh, you can again use alternative sentence frames such as the author says, the author believes, the author comments uh, and uh, uh, similar uh, what we call sentence frames or signal phrases. So we'll now move from uh, integrating sources to synthesizing sources. Synthesizing means that you're com uh, combining. So instead of uh, summarizing the main points of each source separately, uh, you're putting together the ideas and findings of uh, several sor different sources to make an overall point. This involves uh, highlighting similarities and differences in your sources. So in, in uh, 
synthesizing sources, uh, information from different sources, you would need to organize your sources, outline your structure, write the paragraphs with topic sentence, and then revise, uh, uh, edit, and proofread. So uh, uh, in summary, the effective use of sources, you need to avoid plagiarism. You need to know what it is, uh, uh, what it does, and what does and what does not need to be cited. You need to know about direct quotes, uh, when to use direct quotes. These are when you use three or more words in a row taken from a directly from a source. You would need to use uh, quotation marks and add an inside text citation, and we'll be discussing in text citation shortly. And even if you paraphrase a text uh, that, that, that differs significantly from the original, you still must cite the original source. And while you can change or omit words from the quote, be especially careful not to change the meaning of the quote and use uh, the effect of, be uh, familiar with using the effective uh, use of sentence frames or signal phrases to introduce the quote that you are using to make your, uh, your, your paper flow and the ideas to uh, flow up from one to another. We talked a little bit about sources. Now we'll move to citations and you are and how to document your sources. Again, uh, why you must cite, uh, you must cite to avoid plagiarism. You need to give credit to the original author. And this is the only way to use another person's work without plagiarizing. Uh, you, you would use citations to help your reader better understand your ideas and where they originated from. Uh, you would use citations to show uh, depth and extent of your research. And uh, citations strengthen your work with authorities that support your ideas and arguments and help you to distinguish your scholarship from positions that you agree with or uh, show uh, where you're in alignment with uh, positions that you do agree with. So there are three uh, major uh, citation types that we'll be talking about. The, these are the APA, MLA, and Chicago uh, uh, Manual of Style. APA, or American Psychological Association, is used by disciplines such as in education, psychology, and uh, the sciences. MLA is uh, used by the humanities, particularly languages and literature. And uh, uh, Chicago, uh, or uh, Turabian style, as it uh, used to be called, is generally used by those in business, uh, by disciplines in business, history, and uh, fine arts. Uh, you would use uh, in-text citations. Uh, these are found in the body of your, your text. You would use to, you need to include in-text citations when you refer to or summarize or paraphrase from another source. API, uh, APA in-text citation uses the author's last name and the date of publication. For example, Anderson Comet 2021. For direct quotations, in addition to uh, uh, the author and, and year, you would also use uh, the pages as well. So in this case, if you're using a direct citation, Anderson, comma, 2021, page 14. If the author's name is uh, not given, then you would use the uh, first word or words of a title. MLA format follows up. In, you're following the author page method of uh, in-text citation. You're using the author's last name and page number from which the quotation or paraphrase. This must appear in the in the text, and the complete reference must appear in the work cited page. The author's name may appear either in the sentence itself or the uh, or the parenthetical that follows the quotation or, or praise, but the page number should always appear in parentheses in, in the text of your sentence. For example, uh, uh, Johnson 8 means that uh, uh, you're, so, you're quoting from uh, your, your source, Johnson page 8, where it was quoted. Chicago Manual style uh, in following the author date system of the Chicago Manual style, uh, you have uh, uh, the author followed by the number. So for one uh, page number, so for one author of the book, you, for the in, uh, text citation would be Johnson uh, 2021. Note that uh, uh, you don't have a, a, a comma following 2021, but you do have a comma uh, between the year and the page number. For two authors uh, in uh, uh, Chicago format, it would be Carlson and Braun uh, 2010, uh, and then uh, the page number uh, 2021. And then the full and then the full citation would be in the reference list. So uh, in the in the works cited or MLA, it's called the reference uh, list in uh, 
uh, both APA and uh, Chicago Manual Style. All entries in the work cited or, 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 or uh, reference pages must correspond to uh, the, uh, the work in your main text. In other words, if you're using a quote that appears in the main text, if you're using the source in the main text, the full text or the full quote, or the full source must be in the work cited or reference list. So. Uh, here are some examples of uh, the parts of citations and works cited page that you would see in the reference pages, all APA format. Uh, list entries must have author date. APA references list entries must have author, comma, date, comma, title, and source. For example, you have uh, uh, Anderson uh, C and Johnson H. Note that uh, uh, for APA format, the first name is uh, you use the initial and then uh, the uh, the year life of the scholar and for uh, APA format, uh, the first word is uh, alphabetized and then the uh, words following except if you're using a, a, a word like they or and, and then you have life of the scholar with L being uh, capitalized and then uh, scholar being a uh, 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 small letters and uh, small case. All uh, M MLA citations must have author, uh, title, uh, version number, uh, publisher date, place of publication. So an example would be uh, Anderson Charles. And remember, uh, one distinction between MLA and Chicago Manual is that uh, MLA and Chicago Manual has uh, the uh, full name uh, spelled out, Life of the Scholar, instead of having uh, like a uh, APA where you have the uh, uh, the rest of the title other than the first word uh, in, uh, in uppercase, the uh, uh, title our life, life and scholar, those are uppercase, then you have uh, New York, now uh, that's a publication information. And most uh, Chicago manuals of uh, style space stations have the author name, source, and publication information. So uh, you, for Chicago manual, uh, you have Char Charles, Anderson Charles, Life of the Scholar, again, very similar to what you see in uh, MLA, and then you have the publication information. So in uh, moving to the to the reference pages or the work cited pages for APA format. Uh, the way that you construct the reference pages is that uh, for APA format, you would center references in bold font at the top of the new page. You would use double spacing throughout the page. You would alphabetize entries by the author's last name. You would create a hanging indent for each individual source that you would add to the list. The hanging indent is where the second and uh, subsequent lines of a paragraph are indented uh, uh, more, uh, about uh, five or six uh, uh, tabs in. And then you would have uh, each entry would include, but is not limited to the author's name, a year of publication and uh, date and title for uh, for journals, this means that you would have the author uh, uh, last name initials, and then you would have the publication year. The publication year would be in parentheses and followed by title, uh, title or journal, uh, a title, uh, the uh, the title of the article, the article, and then you would have the title of the journal, followed by the publication information, including journal a number and issue number, then followed by page number, and then you would have uh, uh, the digital identifier. You would either have a digital object identifier for uh, uh, information that you would find on the database or a uh, um, uh, URL for information that you would find on a uh, on a uh, uh, on the web on a web page. So for ex an example of an APA reference list from Purdue All, for example, so you have the references and then you have uh, the uh, first entry, for example, is where you would have a uh, the two authors, uh, you would have the last name, first initial, and, and then you would have the second author, uh, an initial, followed by the year, followed by the uh, 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 period, and then it would be, and then you would have the, uh, uh, the, the title of the article, and uh, after uh, uh, the first part of it, you would have half a minute, that would be, uh, uh, instead of like some of the other, the two other uh, uh, citation formats, uh, the only 
uh, alphabetized uh, word in that part of the title would be half. And then after the colon predicting uh, teacher evaluations, uh, uh, you would, the only uh, word that would be italicized in that part of the uh, title would be predicting the rest of uh, that part of the title would be in uh, lowercase and then followed by the uh, journal title. The journal title would be quotes, uh, would be in italicized. And then you would have a comma followed by the volume number, uh, also italicized. And then in parentheses, uh, you would have the issue number, comma, page number, and then you would have uh, the digital object identifier. So that gives, this is, gives you an idea of an APA reference list. So we'll now move to uh, an MLA works cited list you would center the works cited list at the top of the uh, new page. You would double space every line with no additional uh, spacing required. You would alphabetize the entries by the author's last name. If the uh, author's last name is not available for the ent uh, entry, then you would use the first uh, letter of the title other than uh, a word such as uh, uh, N, N or A, N or the. And then uh, following this, you would uh, uh, also create a hanging indent for each individual source of the list. And uh, for then uh, for each individual part, uh, each entry, you would include the author's last name, comma, first name, uh, period, title of the article in quote marks. Then you would have the title of the journal in quotes. And uh, then you would uh, have the volume number and issue number, date of publication, if this is available, followed by either the digital object identifier or URL. So for an example, for uh, Jean Johnson, you would have, uh, you would reverse her name, Johnson Jean. And again, the, the MLA list, like the other list, would, the authors would be uh, listed uh, uh, alphabetically. Uh, then you would have the uh, article title, challenges for interaction. This would be in quote marks, followed by the title of the journal, which would be italicized and then comma, and then uh, the volume and uh, issue number, and then comma, uh, 2010, and then uh, the page numbers following that. So this is an example of an MLA works cited list. You'll note that it's not uh, uh, indented. You would have, uh, so for example, for uh, number three on this list, you would have an, uh, the author's name, John Gowdy. Uh, Gowdy, it's, it's, uh, as you notice, it's arranged alphabetically. You would have John Gowdy, uh, uh, name is reversed. Then you would have the, the title and quote marks, avoiding self-organized uh, extinction. This is, uh, the, for the articles, uh, the, uh, wor the words are all italicized, the main words of the, of the title. And then you would have the, uh, 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 and you use quote marks followed by the name of the uh, journal, which is in italics, followed by comma. And then you have the uh, uh, publication information, volume number 14, uh, comma number uh, one, 2007. And then you have the page number. This is again, an example of an MLA works cited list. And now our third site in creating a uh, Chicago manual style reference list, you're in using the author date style, single date entries come before uh, uh, where the same author appears with other author, authors uh, uh, beginning with the, with the same name. So you would list uh, all authors by the first author uh, together in chronological auth uh, order, if they're writing with someone else and you would follow with uh, uh, those works. So an example of a, an article in Chicago Manual of Style, John Bennett, you would have uh, Bennett, uh, comma, John W. Uh, and then you would have the period and then the work then the publication date, which is 1946, and then period, and then you would have uh, the uh, the title of the of the article in uh, quote marks, and again it would be upper and lower case, and uh, then you would have the uh, uh, after then period, and after that you would have the title of the uh, journal, which would be Southwestern Journal of Anthropology, and then you would this would be followed by the volume and uh, page number. So this is an example of uh, where uh, uh, the Chicago Manual of Style, a reference list appears. And uh, the first one is a book uh, by Joel Ambagan. And then you have uh, the, the name with uh, last name first, uh, period, then the year, uh, the author of uh, the, uh, the book is uh, cited in uh, uh, italicized, followed by the publication publication information. In this case would be Stanford University Press, 
in this in the uh, fourth one down uh, Lisa Ide's work this is an example of an off of an article you would have uh, multiple authors here uh, and uh, you would use in some case in uh, APA uh, some uh, you would use the ampersand in both Chicago manual style and MLA you would use uh, you would uh, use the word and spelled out, and that would be Lisa Eide and Andrea Lunsford, the date uh, followed by, uh, you would have the author and then period, the, uh, the year public it published, and then uh, period, and then uh, collaboration and concepts. This is the article as it would appear in, uh, as it, uh, uh, in quotes, followed by uh, a journal which would be italicized and then you would have the the, uh, the volume and then the month uh follow, and then uh, colon and then the page numbers and then uh, in this case uh and then we have the uh, uh this where you would find uh, the article in the database in this case it's uh, jstor so uh this briefly explains uh uh both uh, uh sources and citations if you have any uh, questions or need to contact any of us. Uh, we're available in person at the library from uh, 9 to 6. Uh, our telephone number is at 274-5104. Uh, you can also contact us via chat uh, uh, or in Ask a Librarian, and you can get access to this on the LRD page, or you can contact us by uh, uh, the, the reference desk email at uh, ask at at udclibanswers.com, or you can uh, schedule an appointment uh, using uh, LibCal. So with that, I conclude my presentation and uh, uh, I'm open for any questions. Great, thank you so much, Chris. Anyone, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat and I'll relay them. And we will also have time for unrecorded questions if you prefer that. Um, just to get help for us, I am dropping a link in the chat to an assessment form. We'd love to hear your feedback on this so we know what to offer in the future. Um, I know sources and citations are the number one thing we tend to get questions about at the reference desk, particularly this time of year. So we hope you found this session enlightening. Um, citations can sometimes be scary, but they don't have to be, and librarians are here to help. Right? And definitely Thanks. use uh, one of the many tools that are available to you. Uh, we do have uh, the manuals like the APA manual, mm -hmm. Chicago manual style behind the reference desk. And uh, feel free to use the, uh, ask us to use these at any time. Also, uh, Purdue All is one of the many uh, 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 helps that are available to you on the, on the internet. And uh, uh, it's really a great source and uh, the, uh, the sources that I used for this presentation were from uh, the all uh, sample papers for both, for all three of them, uh, Chicago Manual, APA, and MLA. Mm -hmm. And again, these are the three main styles that you would uh, be concerned about uh, in, uh, in your uh, academic career here at UDC. Yeah, and our final uh, webinar at, I think it's December 3rd, but it is the first Friday of December, is going to focus on Zotero, which is an online source management tool that can help you put together bibliographies. All right, I'm not seeing any questions come in, so I'm going to say thank you, and I'm going to stop the recording.